Hey everyone, Josh here and welcome to Evoto. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to use AI color looks with masking, how to change backgrounds, and how to do sky replacements too. And on top of that, I'll show you how to use the awesome cropping tools within Evoto. All right, so here we have a sample image. We're gonna start off by using the AI color looks under color adjustments. Color adjustments can be found right up here. This is the first button on our panel to the right. We have our histogram, which is great for metering colors. And right under that, we have AI color looks. So I'm gonna click on AI color looks and we're gonna have a bunch of pre-made color looks. And I've covered this in a previous tutorial, but you can cycle through any one of these color looks and you can apply the intensity by adjusting the slider here. To take full advantage of AI color looks, I'm gonna show you how to manually apply masks to certain parts of the shot or frame. So I'm gonna select my AI color look and then I'm going to exit out of that. And to the right, right under AI color looks is the local button. So we have full image, which is what our AI color looks is fully being applied to. Or when we click on the local tab, we can create a custom mask. We can also just select the person, background, or again, that custom mask. There are also preset masks, which will select the person's eyes, face, eyebrows, lips, neck, ears, and more. Masking for all persons and backgrounds can be synced as well. So to create our custom mask, we're gonna hit the plus button. And here we have multiple options. We can create our own custom mask by simply just drawing it. We can create a linear mask, which is another form of a graduated mask. So you can see that it's really soft here in the middle and it slowly fades into the mask. Or we can make a shape mask, which will just draw out a circle for us and we can shape the circle however we want. For the sake of this video, I'm just gonna draw out my own mask. I'm just gonna drag this circle around and I'm just gonna mask out her face. If you make a mistake, you can always erase a part of the mask by clicking on the tab right here to the right of the draw mask. And we can just erase a little bit of that and then we can continue drawing. We can always adjust the size of our brush, make it smaller or larger, just so we can make that fine tune adjustment here. And now once our mask has been created, we can just go to our basic color adjustment tools and we can adjust the color temperature, let's say, and you'll notice that just her face is having that change or effect applied to. All right, here's our next image. I'm gonna go to portrait retouching, and under portrait retouching, I've covered this in previous tutorials, there's a ton of different adjustments here. As you can see here, we have freckle and acne under the blemish removal tool. It's really easy to just adjust the slider, and you can see that her freckles are basically gone at this point. You can also use the subsliders below to just keep the freckles and remove the acne. No matter which tool or feature you're using, the intensity can always be adjusted. In order to keep someone's personal identity, you can go to the mask adjustment tool and alter the mask so not all of the person's face will be affected. Now what I really wanna work on in this photo here are her eyes. There's some lines and minor blemishes that I wanna get rid of. So we're gonna scroll down to eye wrinkle, we're gonna adjust the slider, and you can start seeing the wrinkles disappear. Then we can adjust the dark circle, and you can see that starts to really clear up and it looks great. Now the big change here is going to be the eye bags. We're gonna adjust the slider to the right, and look at that. It looks so much better than before. You can also batch edit in portrait retouching. You can isolate all of your photos by gender. So all the effects that you apply to the female tag will be applied to the rest of the photos in your project that also have that female tag. Now let's move on to background and sky replacement. So here we have a picture of a woman with a lot of things happening in the background. It looks like there's a crane here and we want to replace this sky. Now Evoto makes this very easy. All we have to do is go to background adjustments here click on that and we can easily just replace the sky. So I'm gonna to go to recommended 
and we have a bunch of different skies. All of these are blue cloudy skies and we can just cycle through all of these different ones and we can see which one works the best with this image. We also have bright blue skies, so we can cycle through that as well. And most of these actually work very well with this image. But if you want to fine tune it to make it even better, you can do so by going to the manual tuning button right here. And what this actually does is this allows you to continue masking out parts in the background. And as you can see here, whatever is in pink is what Evoto is automatically masking out and replacing but we can continue to make minor adjustments here. You can always zoom in on the image, adjust the brush size, and you can just make it that much better with the fine tuning process. Now, if you want to remove something like this as a background, this is a gray gradient background. All you have to do is just go back to the background adjustments tab and you can cycle through any one of these preset backgrounds. There's a color palette right here and you can also apply these cool gradients as a background as well. Now, as you can see here, she's also wearing a shirt that's wrinkly, and of course, there's an adjustment for that with an Evoto as well. All we have to do is go to clothes and accessories, touch up, and there you go, de-wrinkle clothing. We just adjust the slider here, and you can see a lot of the wrinkles just disappear from this shirt and even her pants, and it looks that much better. And last but not least, cropping and that's located under the clothes and accessories touch up just click on that and you can do a free form crop which is just dragging these corners these sides here and you can crop the image that way or you have the option of inputting your own custom numbers right here let's say 2000 and you can see that it just automatically crops that for you under crop you can go to original click on this drop down arrow and you can adjust the aspect ratio here as well. You can go to headshot size and depending on the print that you're making, you can select all of these different sizes right here. And you can also change the angle of the image. So sometimes images can come out crooked, especially with the horizon line. You can easily adjust that by moving the slider to the right or to the left. And it's as easy as that. So make sure you like this video, subscribe with those notifications turned on, check out the link down below and download Evoto and give it a try for yourself. I guarantee you, you're gonna love it. I'll see you in another one.